Good morning, Christopher. Oh, that was nice. You just stacking some cups? Oh, no, you're destroying them. Great. That's wonderful. Oh, yeah, don't forget that one. Good morning, guys. Just getting started to the day. Got to see Christopher before I go to work. Are you going to be good today? Nope. Answer is no. Tonight, I have got a promise that we're getting a babysitter tonight. So, Lauren and I are going out. Very excited about that. And, my friends, I'm going to argue so well for wings tonight. My logic is going to be insane. She'll never be able to refute the wing argument of 2017. Although, if logic is insane, does that mean it's crazy logic? <laughs> well, hello, doctor. What are you doing? Oh, you giving up. Christopher, can I ask you a question? Did you just put that stethoscope on to throw it? Yeah, he couldn't. Oh, he's getting pizza. Okay, that's cool. <gasps> is that pizza? Can I have some pizza? You would not work well in the service industry. Here's your pizza, ma'am. Extra floor. I'm digging this weather right now. It's a little like wet and everything, but I can wear my sweet letter jacket and be really cool because I'm always cool. And this weather is great for video games. You can just use the excuse, well, I don't wanna go outside because, you know, it sucks. Let's stay inside and play video games. And speaking of video games, my friend showed me his Steam box. Now, I'd always heard about them, but I never played with one. They're pretty fun. Maybe, just maybe, I'll get one. Probably not, though. I just don't have the time to game like I used to. It's a bummer. It's nice when I get the game. I'm not going to get rid of my system or anything like that. But it's important to know my limits. Also, big news, if you follow Taco Bell on Instagram or Twitter, as I do, you know there's going to be a chicken chalupa. And what I mean by that is the shell is actually fried chicken. That's exciting. I'll be trying that next week. Cannot wait. Other than that, we're almost done with month one of 2017. Time to go get punched by the clock. Is that how they say it? Whatever. I'll see you after. One thing I did not plan for today was how cold it was going to get. In the morning, this nice letter jacket was fine. Right now, I'm freezing, even with all the extra meat here. Very freezing. But whatever, dude. We got a babysitter tonight. Lauren and I are gonna party for like 45 minutes and come back home and cry. Because we missed our son. He's not, yeah. Other than dinner, I don't really know what we have planned tonight. I mean, is that anything new? Like, I feel like I say the same thing every Wednesday. Yeah, man, we're gonna go out a date. Don't know what it's gonna be, bro. I guess I don't sound like that, but you get what I'm saying. Either way, I'll be fat. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? I'm home. You want to hit a cup with your sword? Yeah, we're not going to do that. Did you have fun today? I heard you saw the Berenstain Bears. Some people remember them as the Berenstain or the Berenstain. I think they are the Berenstain. I don't know. I didn't do my research, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Which one is it, Christopher? Uh, water. Water? Yeah. yeah, that's not even close. Die. What? You Die. see my badge? Die. That's me, yeah. Did you have fun today? So Christopher will not eat these oranges, and he has an interesting tactic to not eat them. Oh! Well, that was not part of the deal. Uh-oh. Sneaky. Buddy, if you don't eat these oranges, then it's no cookie. No, don't just try to grab them. Open your mouth. No, you closed it. You did the opposite. You can't just say goodbye to food and it goes Mommy. away. Mommy. Mommy's not gonna save you. You look insane. Mommy. Oh. Mommy. Man, what an aversion to oranges. For the record, I want it to be known that he chose these and was eating plenty of them and all of a sudden just got upset. Alright, this is great. This is gonna be shown to your prom date. And if I don't see it, it's not there. <laughs> oh, almost got it in there. Now it's funny. Oh, yeah. So Christopher has his sword. He's getting really upset with us telling him to put the back cape up. He just likes sitting on it. 
So further evidence that he is a dirty super villain. Christopher, what's the point here? Batman. Yeah, you're gonna sit on Batman. Are you gonna fart? Hey, can you pick up the Bat Cave? Can you pick up the Bat Cave? You gonna make a pizza? You threw it over there. Yeah, the pizza's already over here from this morning. Yeah, I remember you throwing that. You getting the pizza? Get it. Yeah. Oh, you got a Superman cup. That's pretty cool. It goes on your head like a Shriner's hat. What are those called? The little hats to sit on your head? Oz. Yeah, a fez. A fez. That's right. They're called fezes. Make his own little fez. Oh, God. That is wood. That is solid wood. So what are we doing here? Are we in the farm? Hey, is that a cow? What's a cow say? Horse. No, what's a cow say? Moo. That's right. And what's a horse say? Horse. Horse. Horse goes, horse! Ikey. You want Ikey to play? Yeah. Well, he's busy laying down. He's had a long day. Right, taking care of you. Night. Yeah. What's a chicken say? Chicken. <laughs> chicken. Chicken. <laughs> What's a kitty say? Papa. What's a kitty say? Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> I don't think he's getting this game. He used to crush this. So, what did we get? Wings. We got wings. I told you guys my debating skills would be amazing for these wings. Amazing wings. The skills that I used were the argumentation that we need to do wings tonight. Really my debate was, hey we did Denny's last week and that worked. Or were you being like my two year olds? Being like super cute and pouty? No. Uh, like a baby. Like a baby. Lauren's actually been pretty sick today in the last few days, so she's a trooper. And somebody has been bad today. It's not me, and it's not Ike, it's not the cat. Who do you think it is? That's right, it's Christopher. I assume you've shouted Christopher at the screen, like Blue's Clues or something. But yes, it's Christopher. Back when Lauren and I were in college, there was a place downtown that sold wings for 10 cents a piece on Wednesdays. It was insane. It was awesome though. I ate so much. But tell them what you had to do to get those wings. You didn't just walk in. So basically, to get the wings for 10 cents a piece, you had to show up at least 30 minutes early, probably 40 minutes, and there was usually a line anyway, and it was like waiting for a roller coaster. But it kind of was a roller coaster, like a flavor roller coaster. For so cheap. I loved it. It was worth it. One time we got in line early and he's got these bros at the table next to us like, Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? And Lauren was like, really upset. And I was like, I can't fight these guys. They would crush me. Why, why were they mad at us? Because they thought they were first in line and we were taking the first spot. They were just sitting at a table. So what did we do? We let them get in front of us because I'm a weakling. Ooh, wow, did you get a little mac and cheese there? That looks pretty fancy. Good stuff. I used to eat that a lot in high school. That's probably why I'm not a thin guy anymore. Mom, you got a little bit of wings too. I feel good about my plethora, but what, look at this weird guy. I used to work at a wing place and we'd call these wings too, but they really just look like nuggets on a stick. I bet it's still good though. Mm. It's good. It's a good nugget. All right, we're back from date night and we're just in time to put you to bed. Does that sound good? Bubbles. You want bubbles? Yeah. Bubbles in bed? Mm. I don't think that's going to work out. This. this. Yeah. You want water? Yeah. How about I give you some milky? Yeah. yeah. You want milky? Can you say good night? Good night. Night, night. Oh, I Can you say, I love you? I love you. Oh, just put Christopher to bed and now Lauren and I are going to catch up on one of our favorite shows, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. We binged a little bit last week, but we have like two episodes left. I'm very excited to be caught up. It's not over or anything like that. It's a great show. Lauren and I have always been musical fans, and I think it is hysterical. Probably one of the funniest shows on TV right now. I don't have to convince you why I watch something. I'm already convinced. Well, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm pretty tired. I, I mean, I don't really have an excuse for it other than I don't have a high tolerance for staying awake. What a weird way to put it. high tolerance for staying awake. I don't think that's how that works. Well, whatever. As you can see, I'm pretty tired. So we'll see you next time. And whatever, dude.